many push cart operators, illiterate in their own language, never mind ours, who come here, go on welfare, commit terrorism, engage in crimes. All right. Let's... Why, why wouldn't you look out across the world like right. a sports team does let's... and try to get the creme de la creme? Not let's... like this audience. We don't want these people. We want the creme de la creme. <laughs> On September 14, 2001, you said that the Americans should have been Muslim countries and, and convert them to Christianity. You also said that they should get all the Muslims to boycott all airlines. When asked what the alternative modes of transportation were, you suggested flying carpet. <laughs> because what? I, I don't no, get it. I don't understand. Think, I don't think liberals ever cared about black people. I mean, five minutes after the Civil Rights Act of 64, they start calling everything that has nothing to do with black people a civil rights Who issue. Are they saying? Abortion they on them. demand, homeless rights. So are you saying that they were those peasant cultures to which you so eloquently um, refer to? grandparents had PhDs, so thank you for, you know, putting me in that category as well as most of the people in this room. Thank you very much. Um, my question to you is, what, what, when you say just drop nukes and daisy cutters and all this bullshit on people, people who live, people who are on this planet, human beings, what makes you di different, what differentiates you from ISIS and Daesh and Wahhabis and all this Hold on. We don't assassinate our political science PhD. So 
I would say right there we got a better culture. So we canceled your appearance here on Tuesday, and from what I've been reading, you thought you were banned for life from the show. Did, were you behind that report? Um, no, I didn't say that. That was from a reliable news report that, by the way, had never, has never had to retract a, a report on exploding GM trucks. Uh, so, yeah, there's been a lot of excitement, some of which I'm not that thrilled about. But is he an effective president? Well, how do you judge that? What did he run on? What did he promise? Uh, I think none of his supporters, maybe some of them, really just thought it would be fun to have this tacky billionaire in the White House. Um, I think most people thought, no, he's the only one raising the issues we have been dying to have some president raise. And, you know, screw you Republicans, screw you Democrats. We're going to put this nut in the Oval Office because he will at least put Americans first and not Wall Street first. And has he done that? Well, in seven months, um, he's really going after MS-13. He's attempting to prevent terrorists from coming into the country. Um, the courts said we're getting massive resistance from the Democrats, as usual, as we got during the civil rights era. Um, but he'll win in the end. Um, he's interviewing for the wall. Uh, he has a fantastic attorney general. He has a fantastic head of ICE. Um, so as for what he has promised,